Yeah, so guys, we were just talking about how amazing I look and how not amazing Jason looks with the beanie. I, Apparently, I look like a serial killer or a biker, and Jason looks I, like a guy you'd see on the old docks, eh? Let's go get them fishers, eh? Gotta get them lobster crabs out the water this morning, don't you know, eh? Guys? That's where you went? Uh-huh. You went to a lobster? Well, I think you gotta have it, like, maybe up here, you know? Like, like that. Like with my ears sticking out? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's go there and get them lobsters down there in Bear Harbor. We got an exciting episode for you this week. We've partnered with an amazing company. One Gauge, One Gauge. You gotta check them out, they're awesome. They are a pretty wicked company. If you guys are looking for a LCD touchscreen electronic dash yes. for an affordable price. Yeah. The cool part about them is they work with almost all, any engine, as long as they work with any, uh, any OBD2 port, can work with CAN bus, can work with any standalone ECU, so Phytech, Holly, um, there's another one, I can't remember. One of them fancy boy ones. <laughs> anyway, you get the point. Any motor, any setup, any truck, any airplane, any helicopter, any motorcycle, any bicycle, any golf cart, it works! So today, guys, we are going to unbox this one gauge. It's right here. All the components that we need to put this in our 1995 F-150. It's going to be awesome, so stick with us. Let's pretend like we've never opened it. You've never opened it. You've never opened it. Someone. Why are you giving it away? Someone's been in this box. Listen. Oh, look. You can tell I opened it the first time. Just look how deep I went with the blade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, I've always wanted some purple. Whoops, paper. Oh, some more paper. Oh, what? Yeah. Hey, Jason, why don't you tell the people at home what we have here? All right, it's a beautifully printed 1995 F-150 bezel. Wait, oh, I don't even know. Who cares? Yeah, Who cares? Oh, we're on the next one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, hold on. I'm about to get naked. I'm yeah. about to get naked. That's right. going on. That's going on. Check that out, guys. Free shirts. Heck yes. I'm not sure if they make one big enough for you, though. Do they? That was an, an offensive joke. <laughs> Meant to comment about my obesity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. What's it say? XXXL. This is you. Is this, is it really XX? Come on, guys. No. We're not that fat. <laughs> Jeez. No. All right, so the exciting part, guys, is yours won't yeah. come with free shirts because he doesn't love you like he loves us. I it's mean, just, it's just that simple. I'm sorry, yes. It comes with a sweet little piece of paper. Yeah, and this is kind of a critical piece right here. It shows you... <laughs> it actually shows you everything that connects to it. And there's a lot of stuff uh, that we are not going to use that we could. It's pretty cool. Here's some really important screws. Uh -huh. Jason, yep. what do those do? Uh, I don't know. I imagine. Oh, no. These hold. These screws right here, I believe, hold the display In to, our, the, to the bezel. Again, guys, if you need other bezels, he works with com a company that can 3D print bezels for just about anything. Yeah. He's got a lot of them on the website. Check him out there, guys. Yeah, yeah. so they're this, right there. You see the four holes? Again, and this is for a 92 to 97 F-150, which is what we co coincidentally... <laughs> Would you love? Look at that! That's what we have! What's that phrase? I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Alright, now we have the gypsy handbag. Yeah, this is the hub. Alright, also known as the gypsy handbag. So our hub comes with a couple things, right? So we have a little sensor here. Which was in this? Oil? No. Water? Water pressure, I believe, is what it's for. And then there's... And then the OBD, right? Yep. So uh, we get a lot of our settings through the OBD port, so that'll plug in there. That's where we'll get our temp sensor, temp, what is it, transmission cooler, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Again, th these these can be made to work with any engine, any ECU, Holly, uh, Phytec, and I uh, keep forgetting the third one because they're really not that important, whoever they are. Well, I think it's important to one Hold gauge. on. One gauge. Let me find out. I don't have cheat codes here <laughs> where... Uh, so here, what, what? Edelbrock. Edelbrock. That's I'm looking at you, Edelbrock. If you want to sponsor us, because we coldly left you. Kind of a giant company that you yeah. missed. And if you notice, this is also 3D printed again. Yeah, cool. So, well, here's the cool thing about it is I don't know if you guys know this or not, but it also you can put your turn indicators in here. They go right into the top here. It's pretty awesome. And any other. I know, I've looked all this stuff up. I'm excited about it. There's uh, all kinds of temperatures, there's some power, oil pressure, fuel pressure, vacuum. I believe you can, like, if 
you're getting uh, like a turbo and you want to like uh, like a boost gauge that connects in here too. I'm boosted. You're boosted. And uh, fuel. Fuel. So that's one of the things for us. So we're going to put yeah. our indicators left and right and our fuel. And that's right that. Get that out of here. And there it is. All right. This is something that you plug your printer in. See, you have a printer port here and then a USB. So this is clearly for a printer. It doesn't work with anything else. Um, honestly, I don't really know what that does. Cool. But I that's think it's probably important. We'll figure it out <laughs> as we go. What is some of the other benefits that this thing can do, Jason? Hey, uh, one of the things I think is really cool besides this. Let's show the display first. Look at this here, fellas. Good. So this is pretty cool. So this is not just an LCD display, but it's actually touch. So all the menus and things like that, you can... He sent us one that's been cut. Mm. Oh, man. Used. He sent it used? No. Oh, I, I think Jason opened it. I'm pretty sure that someone did. Now, this is comes in uh, that nice foil paper, so you don't uh, add static to it and kill it. There you got to touch it. So that's pretty cool. That's that's a touch screen display, guys. Yeah. And again, that's going to go in our bezel, which is right, right there. Right, and then uh, get here's signal our, from there. So here's the cord that plugs into this, right? Yep. And then you, you gypsy magic it. It is fully customizable with the screens, uh, the colors. Like, there's so many options, guys. This it's is, got lots of different sizes too. Yeah. Hopefully, so, eventually, we'll end up with a big boy. We want to do well, maybe someday. The the Holly has a 12.3, I think, or something. Uh, one of the advantages, I think, for one gauge is when you turn this thing on, it's instant on or near instant on. Whereas if you go with the giant displays that are HDMI, um, then you have to use a Raspberry Pi, and then that takes 30 to 40 seconds to and boot up. And for you guys at home that are wondering, what's a Raspberry Pi? Your mom goes out in the garden, she picks some raspberries, and she makes herself a nice dough. She needs it, she puts it in the pot, and then she puts the crushed raspberry with some sugar, some glaze. She puts it in the oven, she pulls out, that's your raspberry pie. Am, yeah. I, am I even close? No, not even close. So uh, they actually, a Raspberry Pi, it's a little computer, it's a little mini computer. They're like 40. It lets the Chinese hack your computer. And next thing you know, Mr. China Man in Chinatown, China is driving your truck. <gasps> Now that would be something else. So we're going to get this stuff installed, guys. We're going to show you how to do it, walk you through it. Again, thank you to One Gauge for hooking us up, for working with us. We're really excited. The reason we have to do this is because we switched our rear end from the factory F-150 rear end that has the VSS solenoid in the rear ring gear. And we do not have speed signal any longer to our speedometer. Let's get to it. So here we go, we got our little hub. And uh, what our plan is, is we're gonna mount this baby right, right there. Actually, the problem we're trying to solve is we wanted it to be somewhere where if we wanted to add stuff, we could easily remove it. So I think we're actually just gonna put it up there with a couple uh, Velcro command strips on the back. That way we can pull this out and we can add stuff or whoever ends up buying this truck can add. Uh, if you see right here, this is the uh, oil pressure gauge right here. So this is going to go out through the firewall. Uh, we have up here just a power and a ground. So that's going to actually, we're going to wire that to a switch. One of the things that the guys at One Gauge told us was to put it on a switch. That way you don't get a little power surge when you're trying to crank the engine. So that's where that's going to go. And then we have our OBD right this. And uh, Ryan mounted our OBD port right here, made a little plate, and so that will just plug in right there, and then we'll tidy up the wires. And then the last thing is we have, the last cable that we have is our, this little plug right here, and that is for the display, and so that'll just run up behind the dashboard. So honestly, I don't think this is going to take long at all to get connected in, so we're going to get some command strips, go get some lunch, come back, and We'll probably have this thing installed in less than an hour, I would say. If this is where your fuel selector is for your rear front tank. We're getting rid of that because we got the big 38 in the back. But what we did, Jason did, is he printed a bracket similar to this, and it mounts a toggle switch on the back of the bezel. 
and that allows it to go what we're going to use it for is our select shift that's you drop it down one drop after drive into sport mode and then you push up and down and you can shift through all six gears or eight ten gears or whatever i think the switch is right there ryan right next to it yep that's actually it right there and see so you see here it would slip up down shifting up and shifting down through the gears. Nice. What are you going to put on the other side? Now on the other side, we're going to have a couple toggle switches that are going to control the... One's going to control the one gauge and the other one's going to control the transmission cooler fan. And then we also have another port for USB chargers that's going to tell us our battery voltage as well in the digital display. So we'll show you guys all that. If you guys are interested in those mounting brackets, we can send them to you. We can ship them to you. We'll have them on our website. Try to make them affordable if you guys want to do the same setup and uh, let us know. So here's the, the the stock bezel. Yep. Right. And if you remember earlier, Ryan was talking about our select switch shift, select shift right here. And on the back, so this is the 3D piece. This is all 3D printed, and that is for the select shift. Then over here, I went ahead and I designed a one another little box or a little bracket or whatever. 3D printed it and it holds the other three switches. And these just kind of right, they just kind of pull out. I believe the next plan would be to, we're gonna take I'll take these out, pull this bracket off, we'll wire in our power and our ground. I think we can get power from the fuel selector switch. I'm pretty sure. So we'll just run a wire over here to power the whole thing and a ground and See piece of happens. cake. Easy. All right, so there's two parts to updating this system, two of them, all right? So part number one is updating the screen. The screen takes an SD card, and here's what I've learned. Uh, the max size of this little micro SD card is 32 gigs, so don't try anything bigger than that. It's, uh, it has to be also formatted uh, FAT32. For all you geeks at home that know computers, what that means is, Go get your fat cousin, who's 32 years old. Yes, get your fat cousin to help you. <laughs> That's what that means. All right, so on the display, there's actually a little card slot right here on the top. Ooh. So we do is... And that's where you stick your bubble gum. It's right there. So take that, pop that in, like so. Ooh. Okay. And we're going to... We got power, so we're going to turn it on here. And then we're going to flip our switch. Now this should go white and then it'll update. So usually it'll write the data first and then it'll do the update and then this part of the updating is done. All I'm updating right here are, we did a custom screen. What? Uh, a few actually, we did a few. I'm not sure all of them will work, but that's what I'm uploading now. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> did that say Jammer Ode? I did. I'm not Look at that dash. Look at that cluster. What do you think of that one? That's pretty sharp, eh? So what else, Jason? <laughs> so we figured out what the blue cable goes for. Oh, it's not for our printer? It's not for a printer. So the blue cable is to connect our laptop up to the hub. Yeah. And then when we did a custom gauge, sent it off to Michael at one gauge, and he sent us a hexadecimal file, and that's what I'm, I'm going to update on here. Alright guys, let us know what you think about the one gauge setup. Thank you so much to one gauge for partnering with us, for allowing us to make this content. We really hope you guys like it. Again, it's an affordable solution for a touchscreen LCD dash that works with Elbrock, Holly. He said Elbrock that time. Uh, and I forgot the other one now because you said that. <laughs> anyway, you guys know which one. And if you want to control a Chinese truck, that's the way to do it too. It is true. It is true. So hey, thank you Michael. Appreciate all your help. And uh, hey, just to let you guys know, you can still you can do custom gauges and all kinds of stuff. So the sky's the limit. And on that note, we'll see you next time.
Jabbernation! <laughs>